The European nation of Hungary is helping Christians in a way unlike any other country. Tell us why uh, Hungary is so interested in advocating and protecting persecuted Christians around the world. Hungary is a Christian uh, nation. To hear Secretary Tristan Asbey talk about Hungary's national dedication to biblical principles is, in today's world, a jaw-dropping experience. We are trying to implement the social teachings of the, the Christian faith and the Bible in our, in our policies. And part of that is the protection of human dignity, uh, human freedom, but also part of that is the protection of the sancti sanctity of uh, family and, uh, and marriage. His position in the Hungarian government exists for one purpose, to help persecuted Christians around the world through a program called Hungry Helps. Christians are the most persecuted religious group in the world. There are 340 million people who are discriminated or threatened or, or suffering genocidal attacks because of their uh, faith in Christ. In four years, Hungary has supported a quarter million persecuted Christians, helped reconstruct 67 churches in Lebanon, and completely rebuilt the Christian town of Teleskuf in Iraq after it was decimated by ISIS. 900 buildings were damaged. Uh, the church there was uh, used for target uh, practice by the jihadists. Of the 1,300 Christian families who fled, 1,000 have returned and now refer to their village as the daughter of Hungary. Hungary's approach is simple. Asbe and his team travel to where Christians are hurting and ask to help. Their reception is universal. And they are truly uh, shocked in the good, in the good uh, sense that there is uh, someone in the world who is actually caring about their uh, faith. In the last few months, he's visited seven countries on four continents. I caught up with Asbe in Washington at the International Religious Freedom Summit, where in the future he hopes more governments follow Hungary's lead to aid the persecuted. What we want to achieve that next to the town that is called now Daughter of Hungary, uh, I, I wish that there was a, a son of the U.S. Increasingly, Hungary faces scrutiny over its traditional values from the European Union and LGBT activists. Tensions flared this summer when Hungary's parliament, the National Assembly, passed a law to protect children from exposure to inappropriate sexual content, including homosexual content, and to preserve the rights of parents to retain sole control over their children's sexual education. The executive branch of the European Union launched legal action over the law, saying it discriminates against LGBT people. Hungary has failed to explain why the exposure of children to LGBTIQ content as such would be detrimental to their well-being or not in line with the best interest of the child, the EU explains, giving Hungary two months to respond. We are seeing a very strong lobby in the European Union to push uh, gender ideology through the European Union directives and the legislation. And those are that's such a, a strong initiative and, and lobbying power that eventually it will be mandatory to be implemented in the member states of the European Union. So we, we have uh, made this uh, uh, measure to protect our uh, whole uh, legal system uh, from that, uh, that, uh, that lobby and, and from that uh, intention, which is completely, completely alien and foreign from the values of the Hungarian people. His nation's constitution, adopted in 2011, is consistent with Christian teachings. We have uh, confirmed in our constitution that the marriage is between one uh, man and uh, a woman, that life has to be protected uh, from, uh, from conception. And recently the nation amended it to confirm a mother is a woman and a father is a man. This seems to be a strange thing that it is needed to uh, be put in a constitution. Beyond the politics, Asbe says through his extraordinary job, he's received so much more than he's given. I have been meeting with true heroes of faith in the persecuted Christian communities, and I have gained so such a great strength from their testimonies. Uh, from their face, even despite all the threats and, and the humiliation they are they're facing, that, that also it was a true uh, faith experience uh, for me. So it's really not us Western Christians who are supporting 
the persecuted uh, brothers and sisters in the Middle East and in Africa. They are supporting us. They have a message to keep our identity, to keep our faith in, in, in Christ. It's a message Hungary's taking to heart as Asbe shows the love of Jesus to the nation's Christian brothers and sisters suffering around the world. In our department, we never had any motivational uh, problems because all my colleagues are fully understanding the importance of this uh, uh, mission. Data shows some 340 million Christians are being discriminated, facing threats, or suffering genocidal attacks because of their faith in Jesus and could use some help from Hungary along with the rest of the world. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News.